<laughs> it's okay. No big deal. It's fine. We'll be all right. It's all good. God damn it, Bill Gates! It's fucking Doctor Strange week! They're gonna pull this shit on Doctor Strange week! Fuck you, Bill Gates! God damn! <clears throat> anyway, like I said, we're gonna have a good week. <laughs> we're gonna have a good week! I was saying all the cool shit. Cause we got cool shit coming. Fucking Bill Gates. God damn it. Oh, hate that shit, man. I even reset it before we went in and had it going. <clears throat> anyway. Um, okay. As I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, we got a lot going on today. You, you um, $200 GameStop gift card. We've got giveaways. We've got giveaways up the wazoo coming out of the ass. It's going to be a good one. So everybody shut up. Buckle up your buttholes. And let's get ready. Let, let's, let's get ready. But before we do. Oh, yeah. I see you all trying the gambling. You think I don't see? Shut it off earlier. <laughs> okay. Look. Pause the music, chat. Stop it. Yeah, I'm serious. Stop it. Okay, stop it. Look. Here's the thing. Okay? Multiverse of Madness is coming out this week. We're all pretty excited for it. Okay? But... I, perhaps foolishly, made a bet about a certain cameo showing up in the film. A $500, $500 bet with Skylar Schuller about Tom Cruise Iron Man showing up. And so, look, I, 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 it, it doesn't look good. You know, we're not talking spoilers. We're not talking spoilers. It doesn't look great. Uh, it, and so I, I need to harness the power of the nerd ventures and together we do got to do a prayer circle and put our collective energies towards our Lord and savior, Papa, Papa Feige. Dear, dear Papa Feige, Lord of nerdy things, creator of the great MCU, of which we all love. Dear, dear Papa Feige, please, please work your, your witchcraft and put Scientologist Tom Cruise, couch jumping Tom, Tom Cruise into the movie. Just slip him in for a single frame and then tell me. Uh, what time it, what time in the movie it is a and also please make Wanda the villain so that I don't have to shave my head a and also please make the movie real good and give us the Fantastic Four and the X-Men and all of these fun things And but really just Tom Cruise I mean he's not answering He's not saying anything, and I don't know what that means. <clears throat> yeah, you can put the music back on. Okay, yeah, so that was that was nice. <clears throat> I 
We'll see. We'll see. Talk about it on Friday. Talk about it on Friday. But you know what we're going to talk about right now? We're going to talk about Fantastic Foe. Fantastic Foe. There were uh, a couple of stories, a couple of updates to uh, the MCU Fantastic Four. And uh, I want to go over them with you guys, okay? We'll talk about it. Get into the conversation about it. So, first up, sort of the first thing that happened. Let me see. Maybe I can. Well, it looks like I might have to shrink that so that we can see it a little bit better. Uh, why John Watts is no longer rebooting uh, Marvel Studios Fantastic Four. This news dropped, I believe, on Friday. Unless I'm mistaken, I commented on it. I was like, no. Um, and the thing is, man, part of the reason why I was so bummed about this, and it's kind of like interesting just how these things happen, but uh, we had just watched Spider-Man No Way Home the day before. I think I even told you guys, like, didn't we go over on Friday? We went over some fun uh, things from the movie that I thought maybe nobody else had, had seen and talked about, right? So... Yeah, I had just watched it, and as I was watching it with Elisa, I said, yo, this is crazy. Like, John Watts, he's has such fun sensibilities. I, I love sort of the playfulness that he brings to it, and I really, really like Spider-Man No Way Home. I've actually quite enjoyed all of his Spider-Man movies, and uh, I was very pumped, and I told her when we were watching, I was like, yo, uh, this, is the, this dude is doing Fantastic Four. I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see what he brings to the table with Fantastic Four. And also, you know, there's sort of a slight possibility for something crazy they could do in the film. At one point, Peter Parker joins the Future Foundation and also at one point in comics, he's actually roommates with Johnny Blaze. And so they have a really fun, interesting dynamic, right? So I thought that would be really, really cool. And the news dropped that John Watts will no longer be directing it this came from deadline okay so we're gonna go over this uh this is on the direct of course according to deadline john watts who directed the three mcu spider-man movies including spider-man no way home has exited marvel studios fantastic four he was announced as the reboots director by marvel studios president kevin feige uh disney's december 2020 investor day presentation as far as deadline sources could confirm there was nothing sinister here and watts simply needs a break from the superhero genre after finishing the recent spider-man trilogy in a joint statement from Kevin Feige and Marvel Studios co-president uh, Luis D. Esposito, they said that while they were looking forward to continuing our work with Watts, they also understand it and are supportive of him leaving, but are optimistic about working with him in the future. Uh, collaborating with John on the Spider-Man films has been a true pleasure. We were looking forward to continuing our work with him to bring the Fantastic Four into the MCU, but understanding our support of his reasons for stepping away we are optimistic that we will have the opportunity to work together again at some point down the road watts shared the following comment on his departure knowing that he is hopeful that he'll work within the marvel cinematic universe again in the future he says here making three spider-man films was an incredible and life-changing experience for me i'm eternally grateful to have been a part of the marvel cinematic universe for seven years wow it's a long time of making movies huh uh and i'm I'm hopeful we'll work together again, and I can't wait to see the amazing vision for the Fantastic Four brought to life. Now, what's kind of interesting about that, okay? And we'll, uh, you know, we'll get into our picks and our speculation and things of that nature. It was also reported, uh, or at least hinted at in that deadline report, uh, that Marvel Studios expects Tom Holland's Zendaya and John Watts to return for more movies okay um so it says here in some of the least surprising news you'll hear all week marvel studios is looking to run it back with its current spider-man team sony and marvel studios have teamed up for three spider-man films to date all starring tom holland zendaya john watson the director's chair the most recent film spider-man no way home has been a record breaker for marvel and sony delivering a third highest domestic box office total in history big big movie 
Uh, the fourth Spider-Man film hasn't been announced just yet, though the ending in No Way Home sets up Holland's Parker for more stories. His return feels like a given. Watts was also set to direct Fantastic Four next for Marvel, but news broke Friday that the filmmaker has exited the project, wanting to take a break from big-budget superhero movies. The exit, however, isn't a complete breakup with Marvel, as the studio is reportedly planning to bring him back for another installment of the, in the Spider-Man series. The report suggests that Marvel and Sony are hopeful to have Holland, Zendaya, Watts all back for Spider-Man 4 at some point in the future. There's no word just yet on when that might be. But after three films and a five-year break, uh, or a break seems appropriate. Uh, let's see here. Uh, earlier this year, following the mass success of No Way Home, so they go on to talk about like sort of t haul in statements about this. I mean, around the time of No Way Home, you you know you'll recall we went over a lot of this different stuff leading up to the movie, talking about the movie after it. We talked a lot about like what do we think? Is Tom really taking a break? Is he kind of done for a while? Uh, what Sony want to do? What does Marvel want to do? And all of that, right? So it is seeming like. And there's conspiracy theories all about this as well. But it is seeming like John Watts was taken off the Fantastic Four movie, but they still have plans for him to to come back and do Spider-Man. Okay? So, a couple of different thoughts, a couple of different things. First of all, uh, I, I actually like kind of went on a deep dive, and I was like, man... Who could, you know, what, what does this mean exactly? Like, is John actually going to come in and direct uh, Spider-Man 4? Will we get another director that we might already know a little bit about coming in to do the Fantastic Four? And I stumbled upon this. I, I don't think many people are talking about this, but I believe it to be 100% true. Uh, Martin Scorsese says, uh, I'm happy to announce that my friend John Watts will be co-directing El Muerto with me. I've been following his work for a long time. A great filmmaker. We will make real cinema with real characters. People will be proud. It's unbelievable. You know, sometimes bad news precedes incredible news. You know? And to be honest with you, I wasn't really looking forward to El Muerto. I mean, I, was, I told you guys I thought it was a bad call. The guy's in two comic books. You know, feels like Sony gonna Sony. But alas, John Watts is gonna go make cinema with Martin Scorsese in the El Muerto film. Of course, that's not real. Shut your mouth when you're talking to me. Now, listen, uh, let's let's get serious. Let's get serious about Fantastic Four, okay? Because I have a lot of thoughts here, okay? Bet my hair on it? Nah, I'm good. Um, okay, so, you know the conspiracy, and, and apparently uh, John Campia, um, international Toby Wiener watcher John Campia. <laughs> oh, damn, that was a good one. Uh, John Campia tweeted out on Friday after this news broke that... Um, that he thinks that John Krasinski will come in and actually be the director of the Fantastic Four. And I actually think I shared something on Twitter, which I want to watch with you guys now. Oh, yeah. Check this out. Check this out. Okay, let's watch this together. You got that? No, it's too too much of a vibe. No, it's a it's a too much of a vibe. Okay, let's watch this together. Uh, this dude says I have no inside info oh, whatsoever, but based on my conversation with John Krasinski in 2020, I would bet all my money that this man will be directing uh, Fantastic Four. Well, hot damn! This seems like a man after my own heart. Betting obscene amounts of money on gut feelings. Let's go. You are. Would you have any interest in directing a Marvel film if the opportunity presented itself? Wow, that's a cool idea. I mean, it's it's so interesting because Marvel, I'm such a huge fan of Marvel. It's I, I think they do their own, I mean, they have such a great formula. I mean, yeah, I'd, I'd jump in there. I mean, in Kevin I Trust, I, that, that dude is not only the most talented guy, but the nicest guy. So um, so yeah, whatever, whatever he wants, we discuss it.
Yes, you are. Would you have any interest in directing a Marvel film if the opportunity presented itself? Wow, that's a cool idea. I mean, is it a cool idea, it's John? It's so interesting because Marvel is it I'm so such interesting, a huge John? Fan of Marvel, it's I, you're, I think you're such a huge fan, own, John. I mean, they have such a great formula. I mean, yeah, I'd, I'd jump in there. I mean, in Kevin, I trust I, that that dude is not only in the Kevin most talented guy but the nicest guy. So, um, so yeah, whatever, whatever. He okay, so that's interesting. So, uh, possible scenario here. Ladies and gentlemen, possible scenario here that Marvel Studios moved John off of Fantastic Four to put in John Krasinski. I do wonder uh, what do you guys? What would you make of that? Would you support a John Krasinski Fantastic Four movie? And uh, let's let's go to Pole Town. You know what I mean? Let's go to Pole Town, USA. I don't see why we wouldn't. And put that freaking beat on again, man. Yeah, that thing slapped. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, would you like Krasinski directing Fantastic Four? Would you like it? <clears throat> and would he be acting as Reed. That actually, we don't know. That's unclear, right? And look, we're trying to stay away from potential spoilers, right? We're trying to stay away from potential spoilers. It is long standing. It has been long rumored that Krasinski would be Reed Richards in Multiverse of Madness. That's yet to be determined. And it's actually super unclear whether or not he's in Multiverse of Madness if he would come back to play the character again, okay? Like, potentially, like, let's say he's in Multiverse Madness, right? Hey, Skyler, do you want to bet $500 that he's in it, by the way? Um, let's let's just say that he's in there. I had sort of thought, and I think this was sort of the, the thinking of a lot of different people. If he does this film, it kind of feels like that's it. Like, this would be a way for him to do the film or do the character and have fun with it while also not being handcuffed to this like big massive contract because I think for a long time it was it was sort of rumored and like you know Emily Blunt apparently doesn't Emily Blunt apparently not really down with uh and uh Jared and welcome to the nerd Avengers. you are a nerd adventure now Emily Blunt not really down with uh comic book movies or marvel movies or really even disney it kind of seems like right even though she's friendly with them and does work with them we've analyzed the interviews we've went over it and at least the the sort of image that she projects is not of someone that's really going to be interested in coming in and being sue storm okay now could that change of course but it did kind of feel like krasinski was low on the totem pole list uh as far as doing the fantastic four movie either as a director or as Reed Richards, okay? Emily not down, but money. I mean, Emily not down with, yeah, 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 money, maybe. Yeah, it's it's interesting, right? It's interesting. I got to be honest with you. I don't know how I would feel about this. I think, you know, we've talked about this as a possibility before, right? We've talked about this as a possibility. On the one hand, I think, no, because John... You know, he's not necessarily a super accomplished director. I know he's done The Quiet Place and Quiet Place Part 2. I don't think he's directed anything else. Correct me if I'm wrong, chat, right? Um, has John directed anything other than those two films? Has he done, like, some TV or something like that? So on the one hand, it's like, I don't know. He doesn't have the pedigree or he doesn't sort of come with um, this excitement built in uh, for him just simply as being a director. Did he direct the Office episodes? That's kind of cool. He directed a lot of the Office. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Interesting. Well, there's conflicting reports there, John and Arthur. But uh, either way. So that's kind of on the one hand, right? But on the other hand, Marvel's formula is as such that they can they can bring in direct a director that maybe isn't... Uh, as acclimated to working on big budget crazy movies and they can really fill in all the gaps right i mean they've got incredible action set piece directors you know we've heard that like they do a lot of the action kind of on their own like the director can come in and help and things like that but the, the action pieces are kind of set up um and so the marvel system 
is as such that uh, you could probably uh, you could probably see him come in and succeed. I'll tell you this: I would feel weird about it if he directed it and wasn't Reed. Just straight up, just straight facts. I'd be like, "Fucking why?" Right? I don't know. You guys, let me know. Like, do you agree? Like, wouldn't it be like weird AF? If he came in and directed this thing and he's not Reed Richards, I almost feel like it only really works or has oomph to it as a story or as like a headline if he's also going to be Reed in the film, right? Like, am I wrong? You let me know. Right. So it kind of seems like it, it might have to be like a one and the other situation. And this is like a total package kind of thing. Now, I will say if he was starring in it and directing it and 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 if they somehow convinced uh emily blunt to do it i gotta be honest i see that as nothing but a massive win i see that as nothing as a, a but a massive win i will also say that with what we're sort of hearing about feige and the retreat and the 10 years of planning and oh baby 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 i'm so excited to watch multiverse madness to, to get hyped up about it but a lot of the speculation and the content that we're going to make after multiverse of madness that's like really something i'm really excited for man like because there's some stuff i've been working on that i'm kind of holding off because i think this is a movie that's going to change things and set us on a course that will be like okay so now what do we think is going to happen right but if the fantastic four are going to play as much of an integral role in the mcu's future as i think they will then i think it would be super good for the brand for marvel to like back up the fucking money truck like the money truck and to get emily and john to do this movie and these characters for an extended period of time because like really and truly that's just such a feel-good story like marvel's first family a franchise that has family at its core like it is such a wild thing to to have an actual maybe hollywood family right it, it, to to be together and to actually do that it puts a lot of weird pressure on the family too like you look at like you know not to get all crazy but you look at like what happens now with maybe jada and will right and and there's no doubt about it that being the couple that they were having that status in hollywood and then the expectations that came with that created some problems for them that's just the nicest way to say it it created problems for them so this would be an inordinate amount of pressure on their family like to like imagine the first marvel's first family gets a divorce you know what i'm saying like that's crazy so it would put a weird pressure on them but the payoff is pretty fucking brilliant i think the payoff would be huge and so i think that would be really really crazy so that's sort of one of the conspiracy theories out there that's one of them and that's uh i think would be awesome but it's also something that was around before, you know, seemed to sort of be poo-pooed on. And I, I never really thought, like, I had sort of, like, I had sort of just left behind my desire for that to be a thing. Definitely didn't feel like it was going to be a thing. But, again, um, if he is in Multiverse of Madness and he got to work with Kevin... I mean, maybe, you know, maybe minds were changed. You know what I mean? I think that's one of the things you can say about Marvel without a doubt is that they make the job super easy uh, for creatives, especially recently. It seems that they really give a lot of uh, control to the creative vision of said director or writer. And uh, yeah, they're just they're operating at a level that's really, really intense and above a lot, what a lot of other studios can do. So perhaps if that all happened, maybe John was there, you know, and maybe Feige kept coming over and whispering sweet nothings into his uh, ear. You know what I mean? Like, hey, by the way, you look really good. You know, you look really good. Do you feel good? Do you like the character? Are you, do you like what we're doing here? You know, I have some ideas of what I would, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And just boom, 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 boom. You never really know. Now, I personally also think, uh, and this is kind of where my head went to. I also think Sam Raimi would be a great pick. And so I wonder, and I want to just go to, let's go to poll time again. 
Let's go to Pole Town. By the way, 87% of people say yes to Krasinski directing Fantastic Four. Wow. But that's kind of that's kind of what I mean, right? Like that would really I think the fan base would react incredibly positive to that, right? Would you like Sam Raimi directing Fantastic Four? Boom. 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 Vote. Let your voice be heard. Because here's, you know, here's kind of where my head is at. In a similar way to, uh, you know, John maybe getting a better look at uh, the system or whatever. We also really know that Sam Raimi has had a look under the hood over at Marvel Studios. And he's enjoyed his time you know he was interviewed about coming back possibly to do more marvel projects and man he seems pretty enthusiastic about it which is great which is great now of course caveat here we gotta we gotta see multiverse of madness right we don't know you know maybe it's all cameos and no substance maybe it's all substance and no cameos maybe it's somewhere in the middle maybe it's garbage i highly doubt that but we got to see it before we would know for sure, you know, what our expectations would be of him doing more Marvel stuff. But if it's anywhere near as good as I think it's going to be, if it's anywhere near as fun as I think it's going to be, Zach, welcome to the Nerd Avengers. Noah, welcome to the Nerd Avengers. You are a Nerd Avenger now. And yes, you are entered to win automatically the $200 GameStop gift card. And oh man, if you win it, everybody's going to be super fucking mad that you did it. You entered the day of and you won it. It's incredible stuff. I hope it happens just because I love to stir the pot. But welcome either way. So, I kind of think Raimi could be a glorious, glorious fit for the Fantastic Four. Like, I know some of you are saying, like, Raimi should do darker stuff, right? And, uh, I mean, honestly, man, like, yes, the sensibilities and everything is there. And, of course, he has that horror background. And I think you see some of that in Multiverse of Madness just from what we've seen in the previews. But, uh, you know, Sam also, I mean, especially if you just look at the Spider-Man movies and perhaps with, you know, No Way Home as well, or uh, Multiverse of Madness, he can bring a lot of heart and sort of fun camp and, and, and just like a sort of sensibility that I think actually would translate very well to Fantastic Four. It's partially the same kind of logic that really had me excited about John Watts. There's something about Peter Parker and the vibe of like nailing Spider-Man in a good way. And also Nathan, welcome to the Nerd Avengers, man. Happy to have you. Welcome. Feel the power. Work your way around the tower. And have a gosh dang good day. It's that same thing. Untapped potential. Welcome to the Nerd Avengers. You are a Nerd Avenger now. Feel that swagger. Feel the nerdiness pulse within you. Welcome. I feel like anybody that can handle Spider-Man in New York in a nice way can also handle the Fantastic Four. The Baxter building, New York itself as a character. These are important aspects to, um, to the Fantastic Four. So I actually think Raimi would be an incredible choice. I think he would be an incredible choice. And honestly, that's kind of where my brain stops. I, I don't really know who else would be great at it, but I would love to know what you guys think. If you got a choice, throw it into the chat. Um, if there's somebody, you know, that you would love, Jordan Peele, yes and no. I mean, I would say Jordan is honestly even more of a horror guy than even Raimi at this point. He's really sort of solidified himself as that. And I don't think Jordan's interested in coming in and doing uh, big movies. Like, why would he? He's got a great thing going. You know, like Jordan's now able to put out. Jordan is in a rarefied place for a writer director, man. Like really, truly like just he can just he can whatever he wants to do. Studios will give him a ton of money. He'll do it. A ton of people will show up just because it's him. And uh, his shit, his shit's amazing. You know what I mean? He's he's in a rarefied spot. I don't think he necessarily wants to like he's in a he's a, he's in a Tarantino. He's on a Tarantino trajectory, bro. 
You know what I mean? Like, he doesn't necessarily need to, to do all that. I mean, I'd love him to do it, but I don't think he's going to do it. Patrick O'Neill, welcome to the Nerd Avengers, my friend. Feel the power swell within you. You've made a smart decision, Patrick. Um, I'm seeing Brad Bird. That is an excellent pick. Brad Bird would be an excellent pick. Incredible storyteller. And technically gave us the best Fantastic Four movies we've ever had. Wow, what a pick, huh? I feel like that would be so cool. That's a great pick, yeah. Yeah, Brad Bird would be absolutely incredible. That would be fun. Clint Eastwood? No, I don't think so, bro. <laughs> Ew, Brad Bird? What? Mike, get out of here. Brad Bird's incredible, bro. Bryce Dallas Howard would also be a great pick. Bryce has a lot of heart. She brings a lot of heart to the characters and the performances and the directing that she does for sure for sure yo i loved brad bird's mission impossible as well which one did he do oh josh Lu oh stop oh stop the game stop giveaways driving memberships or is it the amazing thumbnail and ff updates i don't know maybe a little of both maybe it's my hair and we'll lose all of our members after friday <laughs> Zack Snyder directs Fantastic Four. Dude, I mean, of course, pretty Nikki, of course. I'm coming, come on. Yeah. I would love, man, George Lucas. No, he's not doing it. Come on now. Come on now. Hey, hey, thanks. I appreciate that. I appreciate you guys. Very sweet. Very sweet. Um... I don't know who that is. Ryan Johnson, of course. Everybody's always got to say Ryan Johnson. Did he do Ghost Protocol? I feel like he didn't do Ghost Protocol. I feel like he did the one before that. Oh, he did do Ghost Protocol. Damn. Uh, Bryce asks if Hugh Jackman's Wolverine is in Doctor Strange 2. You know, I really don't think so. But, you know, now that you mention it, it would be pretty cool if he was. Let's take just a moment here. Let's take just a moment and uh, and talk to that guy, our 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 Lord and Savior, uh, Kevin Feige. Dear Lord of Comic Book Movies, Kevin Feige, creator of the MCU that we love so much. Mr. Faggy, if if you if you hear this plea, could you use your crazy magic cinema wizard powers and put Hugh Jackman Wolverine into the multiverse of madness? Oh man, I would love to see that beautiful Australian mutton chopped crazy haired man pop his claws. Just one more time. While we're at it, please bring couch hopping crazy man, super short Scientologist dude, Tom Cruise, into the movie as well. Please, please, Mr. Faggy, hear, hear our please. What, what was that? He, he's not, he's not saying it. too majestic for us i think <clears throat> yeah so i don't know man maybe bro i'm gonna tell you right now again it's not looking good for your boy okay i don't i don't at this point i don't think uh i, I don't think and i don't know if um if the tom cruise thing is gonna pan out but i will tell you this and believe me when I say it. And believe me when I say this. If Tom Cruise Iron Man is in this movie, I'm going to stand up in a theater and give a big old fuck yes in the middle of the theater. I'm going to stand up. I'm going to be like, fuck yes. <clears throat> so. We'll see. We'll see. 
All right, should we do some giveaways? Should we do some giveaways? Okay, so how... Okay, let's talk about this. Hang on now. And by the way, I appreciate all the love, guys. I appreciate all the support. New members. Y'all are the best. Y'all are the best. Gus, welcome to the Nerdvengers. Blue Eyes Gamgee, welcome to the Nerdvengers. You are a member now. Representative Binks, welcome to the Nerdvengers. Holy mother love and love of mothers. A lot of people. Yo, I'm actually like low-key really going to laugh if one of y'all wins the gift card today. It's just going to be crazy. Where's my focus at? What the hell's going on here? Okay. Uh, oh, my God. Brian, welcome to the Nerdvengers. Holy shit. A lot of people joining up today. Okay. Now, real question here. Real question. How are we going to do the giveaways in member-only mode? Because, like, you need to be able to, like, do the raffle thing. And I feel like as soon as we take it out of member mode, there's going to be some buttholes. Okay. Ooh, Rick would be great, bro. That's a good pick, Chris. I like Rick. Members only going to win? Yeah, but that kind of feels bad, right? Kind of feels bad. Right? Not at all. Fuck them. <laughs> I guess I can't technically see. Where the other the other people are probably yelling at, but I can't. I can only see you guys, and you guys are like, "Fuck them!" <laughs> oh my god! All right. Well, here's what we'll do. Here's what I think we can do. Obviously, Friday, we'll go no uh, no members only chat because it's spoilers. We might have to go members tomorrow, and we might have to go members on Thursday. So I guess what I'll do is I promise everybody that's not a member that we will do more giveaways next week. Okay, I think that's probably the best that I can do. Okay, we'll do more giveaways next week because we'll have a ton of fun stuff to talk about, okay? Okay. Okay, I think that's probably the fair way to do it. Okay, let me get in here. Let me get to the giveaways. Okay. Complete that one. Okay, so we got a couple of things. We're not going to go crazy today. Again, we will do the giveaway for the gift card. Today we are going to give away. First up. Should we start with the smaller ones? Okay, we'll start with the smaller ones. First up. Oh, wait, that's not the right poster. Damn it. Where's the posters? Chat, no, you fucked it up. Chat! Okay, here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to give away. First up. And bro, we got so much shit to give away this week. Avengers vs. X-Men poster. Avengers vs. X-Men! On a poster! Yeah. Sick-ass Avengers vs. X-Men poster. I love the Avengers vs. X-Men run. I know it's not like the craziest shit in the world, but it's pretty fun to me. Pretty fun to me. Uh, so we'll do that. Let's, let's do this giveaway first. And then we've got uh, another one. Another one. What? How come I can't? What the fuck? Okay. So. Okay. So. These ones, honestly, only going to make it a thousand per ticket. And uh, if you want to, I can sign it. I can sign the poster for you, too, if you want. Boom. Let's start it off. Three-minute giveaway for the Avengers vs. X-Men poster. I love that poster, bro. By the way, there are two of them. And, yes, I kept one for myself. Because I love it. Because I love it. Computer finally worked. 
Yeah. No, don't sign it. Hey, you don't say that. You don't say that. Josh, can you gift us? Wait, what? Oh, sure, 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 sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, that's a great idea. Let me try to do this real quick then. I will give... I'm going to give to everybody watching right now 3K. 3K nerd coin, okay? Boom. There you go. Use it wisely, though, because we're going to do this one, and then uh, we're going to do another giveaway today as well. So uh, you pick. You pick what you want to do. And the other one will cost 2K. 2K per ticket. But, yeah. No, those posters are cool, man. It's a nice poster to have on your wall there. Avengers vs. X-Men really pops, yeah? You know? Where's the... I always expect to see, and maybe this is just... Maybe we have to, like, go through what this was, event was. But everybody hits... All the uh, X-Men fans usually hit me with the... Cyclops was right! Cy Cyclops was right! Do you think Cyclops was right? Let me know in the chat. Yeah. Yeah. Cyclops was right, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, you guys, you guys gotta check it out. I will say um, that uh, this event follows House of M and some other events like that as well. And the it centers around two things. Two things. The Phoenix Force is on its way back to Earth and Hope Summers, the first mutant child born after House of M, they think that the Phoenix Force is coming for her. And the Avengers are like, bro, we cannot let that happen. And the X-Men are like, this ain't none of your goddamn business. Get the fuck out of here. That's pretty much what it's like. And it is awesome. Some of the best uh, super fun fights and a crazy ending. Oh my gosh. Such a crazy ending. Okay, looks like we are... Uh, we got 16 seconds here, guys. So we'll do the drawing for this, and then we'll do the drawing for the next one. Oh, and what's the next one? It's a House of M trade paperback. House of M trade paperback. So cool, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. All right, let's let's see here. Dezuko. Dezuko. You are the winner of the poster. Dezuko, just hit me up. Hit me up on either um Discord, Twitter or something like that. I just need to get your address, bro. And if you want it signed as well. Hit me up. Let me know. Dezuko. Can I get to your page or whatever? Okay, either way. Well done, sir. Well done. Okay, next one up. House of M. Trade paperback. Boom. Boom. Oh, shit. No, wait. Close entries. Shit. Sorry. <coughs> I almost made it for only 1,000 for entry. Sorry, guys. This is a little bit better. It's got to be a 2,000. Like I said, boom. There you go. Now it should be good. Sorry. Okay. Looks like everybody's in. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah. House of M, man. What a story. What a story. Pretty crazy. Let's see if I can find like one of my favorite panels. Yeah. 
Yeah, the, dude, Peter's whole thing is so weird because he remembers parts of this, like, other world that she creates. Yup. Yeah, dude, it gets all wild. Love the art style, too. The House of Magnus. Yeah, boy. Oh, super fun. Super fun. Hope we get uh, some of the flavor from House of M at the very least in uh, Multiverse of Madness. I think um, Lizzie's been saying some stuff recently about uh, just that she'd love to do House of M someday in the future. Kind of makes me think they're saving a part of it. But nonetheless, super cool. And obviously, parts of this are already being uh, adapted. You know what I mean? Oh, my God. Okay. Got 40 seconds. Get your entries in. 40 seconds for your House of M trade paperback giveaway. Then we're going to do the gift card. Then we'll get into Q&A, okay? We're a little bit behind today. Uh, feel bad. Uh, but I will be streaming at 1 p.m. for Nerdvenger members. Come on by. I'll talk to you about, like, sort of my nerdy weekend, just kind of the plans that we're doing for the week. And we'll just chill. So if you have questions as well, uh, you don't get to them, like, right now. If you're a member, come on by at 1. We can hang out and talk for a little bit then, too. I am pretty stoked for this week and tomorrow i mean you know whether or not we get into it in the morning stream or not we'll talk previews and predictions for moon night you know the finale of that uh a lot of high hopes on crazy possibilities for moon night i i don't really know what to expect like i really don't know what to expect so uh yeah we'll just see we'll we'll do the watch party tomorrow as well hey fernie hey fernie my man fernie of course editor here at the den of nerds he edited the new uh spoiler video which will be going out later i know not everybody will watch that because they don't want to do spoilers totally cool if you're into spoilers watch the video fernie did i think you'll love it it's hilarious i love uh fernie's edits so uh how about that fernie getting the trade paper bag let's go let's go uh and we have a ton of stuff to do for giveaways um so the current plan, I know everybody was asking about the Isle of Agamotto's. We're going to do one of them on Thursday morning. We're going to do one of them Friday morning. Friday's going to be a really big stream. We're going to do a ton of giveaways Friday. We'll, we'll give away one of these physically. We have an NFT version of this on the VV app that we're going to give away as well. Um, we've got... We've got freaking Captain Carter Pops. Doctor Strange figurines. Oh, man. It's going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time. <laughs> Rigged. <laughs> My man. My man. Okay, let's shift gears a little bit. And give me a second here. Because now we got to give away a $200 gift, uh, GameStop gift card. And if you're like, well, there's a lot of like stuff going on today. A lot of giveaway stuff. Yeah. There is. Shut your mouth. Just shut your mouth about it. Jeez, man. Jeez, man. Oh, I can turn dark mode on? Ooh, that's kind of fun. They got dark mode on roll 20 now. That's kind of key. That's kind of key. Okay, let me try to get this pulled up. Give me just a moment, ladies and gentle beings. Everybody chill your buttholes out. Everybody chill your buttholes out. Okay, so we have 779 channel members currently. So that's eight pages, right? I believe it's eight pages. One, two, three. Four, 
five, six, seven, eight, right? Two, three, four. Yeah, it's eight pages, like I said. <laughs> uh, and so here's what we're going to do. Let me get this set up for you guys. Moss Moss absolutely loves the rolls, too, when we do this. We do, we, we do like, rolls for this, okay? So here... What? Fe Feige. Sheesh, bro. Okay, here we go. Here's all of our members. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to roll to evens or odds. If it's an odd number, we'll start from page one. If it's an even number, we'll start from the back. Boom. Odd. So we'll start from the first page. Next thing we're going to roll is a D8. Boom. D8. Page five from page one. So we're on page one right now. Page two. Page three. Page four. Page five. If you see your name on here, you are eligible. And you might just win. Wow, there's a lot of like older members on this page, huh? Uh, and you might just win a $200 GameStop gift card. And now we will roll the D100. Boom. 31. And now let's find out who the recipient is of the $200 GameStop gift card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is Meister. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 is Michael. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 is Tristan. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28 is Chris. 29, 30, and 31, the Saviors. 007, congratulations. The Saviors, you have won the $200 GameStop gift card. Are you in the chat? The saviors. Are you in? Are you in the chat? I feel like the chat is quite behind. Okay, I feel I feel like the chat is quite behind. Hang on now. Hang on now. Let, let me reset this. Let me reset this. Is the saviors in here? The saviors, are you in here? Are you here? Okay, well, saviors, you got like uh, about a week to claim it. If not, if not, we'll do another giveaway. Okay, cool. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, unfortunately, due to the bull crappery from uh, earlier, wait, what the hell? Uh, unfortunately, because of the bull crap, I cannot actually do the usual uh, super chat uh, screen that I do to like read all the super chats. So instead, uh, I'll just go through and read them all. Okay. So give me a second here. And we'll go through some super chats. We'll hang out in the chat chat as well. Just to see what you guys got on your mind. What you're thinking about with your brain parts and your butt farts. Yeah, that's right. I said it. You didn't think I said it. I fucking said it. You didn't fucking think I was going to say it, but I said it, bro. I fucking said it, bro. Bro, I said it, bro. Said it, bro. Said it, bro. I said it, bro. Okay, and this is from uh, the previous stream, of course, that Bill Gates sniped us out. Uh, Moosty, uh, SMB963 says with a $5 holla, it's me, Moosty. So excited for your coverage this week. It's going to be a banger. Let's fucking go. Uh, Id Mubarak. Uh, to all my bros. I'm not sure what that means, but ho hopefully it's good. Uh, thanks for what you do, Papa J. Hey, appreciate you, Moosty. LMFAO, you fit to be mother-loving, bald, and broke. Yes, unfortunately. If you didn't know, got a couple of bets out there, okay? I've got a bet that if Wanda is not the main villain of Multiverse of Madness, I'll shave my head and I'll do it live. And also, I have a $500 bet that Tom Cruise... Iron something will show up in the in the movie. And if this really doesn't go my way, I will literally be bald and broke after Friday. Oh, God, I hope not. 
We're going to have to go back and pray to Feige. Okay, let's keep going here. Let's keep going. Darth Shima says, on vacation, this is the best way to start. Take my money. Hey, appreciate you. Appreciate you. Oh, and then you, you kind of followed up and said, send a $2 before it crashes. Uh, leave us alone, Feige. On vacation, this is just the best way to start. Thank you, Josh. Hey, I appreciate it, man. Hope you're having a good vacation. Uh, Pretty Nikki says, stop it, Bill. Oh, damn it. Josh, it's okay. And take my money. Hey, thank you, Nikki. I appreciate you. Always good to see you in Nerd Ventures Tower. Moosty follows up and says, I don't know if the chats got lost from the other stream, uh, but I love you. Hey, I love you right back, bro. Uh, Star Wars Obsession says, I got bets with X-Wing and Fatal J on Kenobi. I feel your pain. 100 to 1 odds is what I gave them. My 100 to each of their $1. Good luck on your bet. Well, what are the bets, bro? You can't just say that. You got to let us know. Like, what are the bets, bro? Sheesh. Uh, good luck to you, though. Mando22 with the $2 houses. Any chance my boy Beta Ray Bill in Multiverse of Mass or Thor 3? Uh, I think there's a small chance for both. I mean, come on. Man. How wild would it be if, like, all these other things that we're speculating about with MOM and then, like, randomly Beta Ray Bill's in there? That would be crazy. Uh, as far as him being in for Thor 4, maybe. A lot of people seem to be pretty keen on that. I'm not exactly sure why. But uh, I would love it, man. Beta Ray Bill is an awesome character, so I'd love to have him in there. Mandalore says with a $5 holla, says, Can't wait for MOM this Friday. Kenobi a few days after. And a bald, angry Josh. It's like Christmas with a side of Christmas. Not sure which will be better. Yeah, me neither. Well, Kenobi's not till late this month, right? It's not till the 27th, right? Please, God, tell me it's not till the 27th, guys. Please. Fly past all. Welcome to the Nerd Vendors. Appreciate you. Feel the power. Feel the power. And and Carson, welcome. And Ritwick, welcome to the Nerd Vengers. Appreciate you. I appreciate all the support, guys. Thank you so much. But uh, yeah, still, Star Wars Obsession. I get, I get what you're saying. And yeah, dude, it's crazy. Moon Knight Episode 6, too. Don't sleep on that, Moon Knight. Unless it's a real snooze fest, and then we'll... And we'll be mad that we didn't get our sleep. And instead, we watch Moon Knight. Kendall says with the $5 house, says this makes sense with Feige hammering out a more detailed plan, getting things in line to help new directors with the Marvel guidelines, unlike Eternals. I agree. I agree. And I think many of us have this feeling we're going to revisit this conversation after Multiverse of Madness. It's something that I've been talking to some people about a little bit behind the scenes. Uh, I've been talking a little bit to, um, you know, friend of the channel, um, Paul from Heavy Spoilers a little bit about this, and it's like, it, it, it feels, look, let's just say either way, we're going to have a lot to talk about after Multiverse Madness. And part of that discussion may entail, what is going on here? You know what I mean? Like, what are we doing here? You know, and and, uh, and it perhaps some of the lack of, I don't even know how to say it. it it's possible that there's some place holding going on. You know, right now. Marvel Mania with a $2 house. If not, Krasinski, maybe get Bryce Dallas Howard. Yeah, we briefly touched on that. Look, I like Bryce, man. She's she's awesome. She has such good energy. And she's actually really good as a director. Her sensibilities with, with actors seems to be really good. She's pulled great performances out of a myriad of different people. Yeah, I'd be down. I'd be down uh, with Bryce doing it. But I'm not going to lie. Like, something like a Raimi or a Krasinski, if he actually does it and plays Reed, that brings a little bit more oomph. Uh, but... Obviously, no hate on uh, Bryce. Uh, Carl says, uh, Moon Knight finale, final trailer, FYI. Ooh, should we watch it? Should we watch the Moon Knight trailer, guys? Let me know in chat. Y'all want to watch that? Y'all want to watch the new Moon Knight trailer? Should we watch it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike's like, nah. <laughs> Mike's like, eh, I don't know about all that. Ooh, okay. Seems to be a lengthy one. All right, let's do this like Buddhists, guys. Let's fucking do this. I'm down. I'm down to give it a little watch. Okay, ready? Mark. I'm here to help you. Do you think that you created Stephen to hide from all of the awful things you've done? No! 
Very intense. Your identities are not something to be feared. But something to be welcomed. Steven, I know you're scared. Hello, man in the mirror. I know you're confused. What are you? You sure you want to know? Whoa. I promise I will repay my debt for all the things I've done. We'll fight together. Whoa. I have to finish this. Whoa. Looks pretty cool. Okay, that looks super cool, man. I, I mean, I expect this finale to be pretty good. It looks like we're getting plenty of actual Moon Knight action as well, which seems pretty sure. Uh, I'm pretty excited about it. Thanks for pointing that out. Who pointed that out? Was that Carl? Hey, Carl, good on you, bro. Good on you. Good on you, Carl. Appreciate you, bro. Uh, Pretty Nikki says, Zack Snyder to direct Fantastic Four in every other movie ever. I mean, he is the blueprint. So it's like, even when Zack doesn't direct something, it's still give credit to Zack. You know what I mean? Uh, Bryce Productions with a 279 says, it's Hugh Jackman Wolverine. In no, we already prayed about that. I don't know. We'll see. Kendall says, I feel like they need to latch onto a director soon, much like they did with the Russo brothers, for these movies uh, with will be important to Secret Wars. Yeah, I agree. The question is, though, because the Russos were such an integral part of all of that, actually doing the films that led into it a little bit as well as planning it, do they plan on doing something like that as well? You know, and could the Russos come back and do Fantastic Four? I mean, I think a lot of us would cheer for that. It seems like they're probably just focused on building that big Secret Wars movie. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, bro. Like, I think you're right, though. You have a good point. Like, to, to have someone come in and be, like, that they have to sort of latch on to. I, I do think that would be great. And maybe Raimi's that guy. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. It's an interesting point, though. Sozin's comment with a very generous $20. Holly, holy mother, love and love of mother says, Yo, Josh, I've been watching your channel since the lead up to the book of Boba Fett. And now, since MOM is dropping, I had to finally become a nerd venger. I hope Tom Cruise is in the movie. But he pulls a Ralph Boner. Oh, no. Well, first of all, Sosens, welcome to the Nerd Ventures. It is good to have you. I appreciate the support. And, oh, man, do I not want another Ralph Boner. I'm very anti-Boner these days. Ralph Boner. Um, but, yeah, no. Cruise in general would be sick. Look, we are going to talk a whole bunch of that either way after the movie comes out. I've got some thoughts. Okay? I was standing. I was in the office. And uh, I was just in here like doing this whole diatribe like talking to Chet about it I, I, I'm, I've been complaining I've been speculating I've been confused I've been angry I've been sad I've been elated it's a real mixed bag over here we'll talk about it after the movie comes out T-Love aka the Silver Lurker says I'm late what did I miss tell me or I'm taking my money back oh uh, we we did a prayer circle for Tom Cruise Iron Man uh, we did a bunch of giveaways which you missed we had a false start to the stream which got killed by Bill Gates um, we had some laughs we, we, we had some tears. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Max Rouse says, So what exactly qualifies as Wanda is the villain? Josh, let's set some parameters here. I hope she is. But charge up those shears. Snip. Snip. You don't say that. Uh, so I actually touched on this Friday, but I'll do it again. I got no problem uh, sort of clarifying. Here's the thing. If there was another entity controlling Wanda... And at the end of the movie, Wanda flipped sides and helped the heroes defeat the actual villain of the movie, then I would not consider Wanda to be the villain of the film. Okay? Uh, obviously, we think she's going to be corrupted by the Darkhold. But I still think Wanda is going to be making the decisions, Wanda's going to be doing stuff, and Wanda will be the threat to overcome in the film. She will literally be the antagonist. That's what I mean. So there's a couple of things that could be like that could 
change it. But uh, yeah, I feel pretty strongly that Wanda is going to be the villain of the movie and that actually many people are going to be surprised at just how crazy she goes as the villain of the movie. I think she's stacking up a stacking up a body count, bro. Stacking it up. But we'll see. We're super close, right? Uh, let's see here. Brandon Vowles says, are you going to be doing a May the 4th stream? Hashtag take my money. Uh, well, I will be streaming on the 4th for Nerd Avengers. We're probably going to watch X-Men Days of Future Past the Rogue Cut together, though. Um, as far as Star Wars stuff, if there is a Kenobi trailer, I will do a reaction maybe slash breakdown video for it. But uh, no, nah, I'm probably not going to stream for it, bro. I, I look, with what happened last year on May the 4th, combined with the fact that they have Celebration right around the corner, I highly doubt... There will be uh, a ton of different um, uh, things to report on for Star Wars Day. Hope I'm wrong, but I don't really think so. So, if anything, I think you'll get a Kenobi teaser, a Kenobi trailer, or something of like that. Um, and we'll cover it, but we won't be able to... Uh, yeah. And also, guys, I apologize that the members' chats didn't go through today. Uh, we just had such goobly glob garbage happen. Oh, here's some of them. Uh, so I can see uh, James Heaton says, Josh, thanks for everything you do for the Nerd Ventures. You're the best. Final trailer for MOM was just released. Let's watch it together. Wait, what? Really? Really? Really, though? There was one that went six hours uh, ago. Is there a new trailer, though? Is there a new trailer, though? I don't see one. <clears throat> this this account would have it if there were. There was something 11 hours ago. No, nah, I don't really see a new trailer, brother. It could be something that we've uh, we've already all seen. No, uh, no big deal there. But uh, I do not see a new trailer, brother. Uh, let's see here. Red Bandit Film says, John Krasinski better be directing Fantastic Four. Let's go, Papa Feige. Make it happen. And then, Neymar. Wait, let's see here. Can I see yours? Can I see your chat? Heck yeah. Remember for 15 months. Appreciate you, man. Says, nobody's talking about Supreme Strange. The one we see a statue in the trailer of, even though he has a Funko, I think he could be a sneaky big part of the film. So I believe the statue is actually for a different variant. And uh, I think that Supreme Evil Strange is a MacGuff, or not necessarily a MacGuffin, but he's definitely misdirection. I don't think he's going to have that big of a deal to do with the movie at all. And I know Marvel is kind of trying to make people believe that he could be the villain of the movie. And there's even though he will probably fight our Doctor Strange... Uh, yeah, that's just, I don't think so, my guy. I could be wrong, and then I'd be bald. But, uh, yeah, I don't think so. Uh, Zach says, Josh, who the fuck is Chet? Much love, G. So, Chet is, uh, sort of my producer and sort of assistant. Um, he helps me out with all of the stuff here at the tower. Uh, he's also a hideous human being. He's, like, one of the ugliest human beings that you've ever will see. And, look, he will tell you that, too. So, we don't really show him on camera. Because statistically speaking, we'd have to hand out a bunch of like barf bags all over the tower that would just be vomit all over the floor and just, bleh, you know what I mean? So he's a, he's a, it's, it's haunting. Like Deadpool, but not like good looking. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh shit, bro. It's crazy. So uh, that's who Chet is. That's who Chet is. Uh, let's see here. Magic and McCrabe says with a $5 holla. But what if Wanda's villainry is debatable? In a Team Strange versus Team Wanda way, a la Civil War, Pietro and MOM or Bus. First of all, Pietro and MOM would be sick, uh, but no, it's <laughs> look. I, again, we're not we're not talking spoilers here, but uh, let me just tell you, I I definitely don't think that's gonna I I don't think it's gonna be an issue on Friday. I don't think there's gonna be a lot of like, well, was she really the villain? I'm pretty sure we're all gonna sit back and be like, damn. So, uh, yeah, I really don't think so, bro. Uh, and look, you know, we all kind of know what the deal is, right? Like, it has to do with her kids, you know? She's trying to she's trying to get her kids. And in some ways, sure. Like, that's, uh, 
that's admirable, but I don't think any of us are going to see this movie and be like, you know, it's justifiable what she did there. You know, it's pretty justifiable. I understand. Uh, no, 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 no. I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, Michael Phantom says, I want Raimi to do Blade, then kind of spearhead the supernatural side of Marvel. You know, those vampires and monsters will look pretty dope. It's true. It's true. He would do a great job in that regard. 100%. 100%. Uh, so, hey, maybe I would be down. I would be down for more Sam Raimi, of course, bearing in mind that we do still have to see this film, but it uh, looks pretty dope to me, you know what I mean? Uh, watch those wrist rockets, says 25 Days Till Kenobi. And yeah, man, I'm super excited for Kenobi as well. I mean, I'm obviously like pretty preoccupied with the uh, Multiverse of Madness hype. Like, I kind of feel bad for the Star Wars fans because I've been like trying to put out a few Star Wars videos here and there, but like my energy and focus is just like on this movie, bro. Uh, so I'm pretty, pretty excited for what will come. Um, but yeah, Kenobi right around the corner. It's going to be dope to like, like go see MOM, like just have our minds be blown and then, uh, make a ton of cool content. Like I want to do so much speculative content, uh, theory crafting content after this movie. And then, uh, right as I'm sort of like getting out of the honeymoon glow from this film, unless I hate it, um, start to get ready for Kenobi like let's go uh yeah it's gonna be fun and celebration too like I know we're really thinking a lot about Kenobi rightfully so but celebration has the potential to to really shift uh the conversation around Star Wars at least from my perspective right I'm really kind of waiting and st to see uh what would be announced there you know what I mean uh, you're talking about Strange Supreme, and I'm talking about the Supreme Strange who might be really powerful version of Steven. Oh, okay. My bad then. My bad. If I'm talking about two, a different person, um, I think, and I could be mistaken here, but I believe that Steven that they have the statue to, I don't know if he'll be alive, bro. Like, I don't know. There's, I don't know. I don't know. But he could be a big part of the film. He absolutely could be. And I also really like the lines that are in some of the new trailers where, like, Professor X is like, let's see what kind of Doctor Strange you are. Like, that's really interesting. And uh, I I'm actually working on a video, a script for something that is, you know, it's spoiler free, but it's like my anticipation of the things from MOM. Like, I want to know because, like, and again, we're going to talk more about this coming up, right? But, like, so Xavier is a mind reader. So he's going to be able to just read the mind of Steven and sort of instantly know everything that they went through with Thanos in their timeline and things like that, right? And I'm just really curious about how the conversation will go down between all those characters in that setting and things like that. Like, whew, should be pretty cool. Should be pretty cool. Uh, C-Dub says, Screen Geek r is reporting Keanu Reeves has landed secret Marvel role. Any idea who it could be? Yeah, unfortunately, bro... I got sort of bamboozled by that as well. And yes, we Smokey Kenobi, we did do the giveaways. But we'll be doing them all week, so don't worry. You'll, you'll get in on the other ones. Here's the thing, man. That Screen Geek article is referencing Giant Freaking Robot, which has a horrible track record. So I can't really say, like, oh, Giant Freaking Robot, like, let's go. And I also think that the Daniel Rickman account that was retweeting that is the fake Daniel. I think it's the fake Daniel. So... Unfortunately, man, I don't think that Keanu Reeves story is real in any way, shape, or form. So, yeah. Anyways, what's going on in the chat chat, guys? It's going to be dope when Thanos is sitting on the Illuminati Council. Oh, that would be, that'd be a different kind of boner. You know what I mean, Jason? That'd be a different kind of boner. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Okay, let's uh let's talk about a couple other things before we get out of here. I, I just want to get a sort of sense of where you guys are at. So, do you guys think, yes or no, do you think that uh this movie will have a bigger opening weekend than Spider Man No Way Home? Yes or no? Can't wait for Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and M.O.M. Oh, my God, bro. 
Oh yeah, thanks, Winter Soldier. I've seen uh, I've seen a lot of I've seen the leaks, bro. I have a whole we have a whole video coming out about the leaks, which will probably drop in the afternoon. Yeah, a lot of us are saying nah, huh? No. Uh thanks, fams. Appreciate that. You have no idea how much joy these live streams bring me. That's really sweet. Ace of Shield is canon. How dare you, Jedi Mike? How dare you, Jedi Mike? Uh, Text Avenger Bobby, member for six months, says, So we got a big week this week. My B Day is on the fourth. Doctor Strange 2 is on the fifth. And the giveaways here on the channel. Let's go. Dude, yes. We have so much fun stuff to give away. I'm excited. Someone on my vid said, It's wild. She'll kill Monica's mom after bonding with her. Monica told her she'd do anything to get her back in WandaVision. This is true. Look, we don't know for sure how this is going to play out. I'm getting, I'm getting the sense, ah, oh, bro, I don't want to, I don't know, I don't want to speculate too much because I don't want to, like, where my speculation ends and, and leaks begin is not always super clear, so I don't know. All I will say is this, it is a very Wanda thing because of this book and many other moments in the comics, it's a very Wanda thing to be uh, horrible. And to do horrible shit. And yet, in the comics, they, like, keep giving Wanda, like, more and more chances. Like, it's pretty wild. But, like, this will be one of the most comic book accurate things ever. If Wanda goes absolutely bananas, it's horrible, and yet she still kind of gets a pass. That's very comic book accurate, to be honest. Um, so... Oh, nice. RF, yeah. I rewatched WandaVision uh, relatively recently, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They have no choice. Uh, yeah, I guess that's fair. What, what choice do you have? Tom Cruise is not in the movie? Ah! You don't say that. But you're probably right. Yeah, you, yeah, you got the typos. You got the typos. It looks like somebody's having a case of the Mondays, Kendall. You know what I mean? Throw a little office space at you. When you come in on Monday and you're not feeling that well, does anybody ever say to you, well, it looks like somebody's having a case of the Mondays? No. Shit, no. No, man, I believe you get your ass kicked saying something like that, man. I hope, but hope not, but hope for Josh. So confused. <laughs> Me too, brother. Me too. Wanda said that too? Did she say somebody's having a case of the Monday? Did she really? I want more Oscar Isaac in the MCU as well. He is brilliant. Agents of Ayas is some BS. Oh, shit. Coming in hot. Frosto drama, so. You don't say that. Wanda did say it? Wow, that's hilarious. Josh, this is your second stream. You're Monday ing hard. I am. That's true. You're not wrong about that. If Kenobi break canon, like leaving Tatooine without Luke or without protecting Luke, then I lose bets. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Oh, Maestro Hulk or Comic Accurate Planet Hulk would be nice. That's true. That is very true. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Hey, my man. Nicely done, Kendall. That's what I'm talking about, man. Just keep it coming. You know what I mean? Second season of Moon Knight debate. Where are you? I really have to wait to see the finale. I don't know, man. I just, I really don't know. Moon Knight is a vexing show. It is very confusing. I, I, I got to see the finale. Got to sort of see how I feel after that. And then it's like, I don't know. Do I want another season of Moon Knight? Or would I prefer like a Midnight Suns thing? Like, do, do I really want to? Do we want to do this Moon Knight thing again? Like, do we want to like go in there and like go into his brain and do all this crazy shit? Have all this fucking oh, you're crazy. Oh, I'm trying to help you. Oh, Steven. Oh, my name's Steven. Oh, you know, I don't know. I haven't decided. So. All right, guys, I got to get on out of here. I'm going to go munch on some food. 
Uh, I'm going to work on a thumbnail. If you are a member, I will see you at 1 p.m. today. We'll do a Nerdvengers chat. Uh, it's going to be awesome. We'll just talk about some of the things going on uh, in my life, get, get a little bit more personal, um, a little bit more up close. I do all of the member streams like this close. Welcome to the member stream. This is how close we get. On the member stream. <laughs> As I always say. What are you talking about? My nose here? As I always say, I hope you were having an awesome and a nerdy day. And I'll see you in the next video. Did everybody leave? Is everybody gone? All joking and cockbockery aside, tonight, Multiverse of Madness will be seen and we'll know if I'm going to be bald and broke on Friday or not. I'm going to have to just act like I don't know and it's going to be so sucky. I don't want to shave my head. 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 I don't want What do you think Skylar Schuler is going to buy? With that five hundred dollars, what do you think? <laughs> A wing. <laughs> Yo, you guys are sweet. I mean, you're not really you're fucking asshole, you know what I mean? But so am I. So I love you. A Tom Cruise poster? That would be kind of funny, yo, Loki. <laughs> hey. Either way, it'll be fun. A framed photo of your bet tweet? Probably. Probably. It's okay, we'll roast you to make you feel better. Oh, thank, thanks, thanks. Cool, real cool. Thanks, guys. Real cool. Alright, everybody. Well, uh, I'm gonna go be alone. And cry now, so thanks for that. Fucking see you later. <laughs> Woo!